I mean, this coming out on the heels of the case we have in court of police being assaulted by um, a citizen. This again evokes memories of Baby Pendo in Kisumu sometime in 2017. Let's do some politics now. And Prime Cabinet Secretary Musale Mudavadi has unveiled the government's campaign plans for opposition leader Raila Odinga's African Union Commission a chairperson bid. The Foreign and Diaspora Affairs she has said that the government has set up an elaborate secretariat made of government bureaucrats and strategists from both the government and Raila's team to spearhead his bid. But as Abdiaziz Hashem reports, Mudavadi, however, fell short of mentioning the names of those in the secretariat. <laughs> With the clock ticking towards the African Union Commission chairperson elections, Kenya's candidate as Zimio leader Raila Molodinga Wednesday morning met with the Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi in his office at Railways in Nairobi. Strategizing on how he will successfully succeed Musa Faki of Chad for the position. Shortly after their sit-down, the Azimio leader expressed his awe at the government's support for his African Union Commission chairperson bid. Your candidature is not valid until your country has said yes. So I was myself pleased and surprised that the Kenya government said they would support me. I was expecting them to say no. I don't know the reason why they said yes. <laughs> We said yes because Raila is competent yes. and we are looking at Kenya's national interests and Africa's national interests. So this is not about our local issues. Raila revealed his manifesto saying if appointed, he will focus on boosting inter-Africa trade and development. We can not have one African visa. It can, it can be done. We can connect the whole of this continent. Foreign and Diaspora Affairs Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi unveiled the government's campaign plans for Odinga, but did not name the government bureaucrats, strategists and Riley's team that will spearhead the campaigns. Currently, the team is farming up preparatory and application documents together with requisite translations of the resume into six AU languages. That I am vying for a position in Africa, not in the government of the Republic of Kenya. But I need the endorsement of the government of Kenya for that African position. This comes in the backdrop of both Djibouti and Somalia fronting their candidates for the position. That our president had, has also made several strides in talking to his counterparts across Africa. And all that, I'm sure, will count for something. The AU Commission chair elections will be held in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, will take place in February 2025 when Faki exits after his two-term tenure. The ODM leader is expected to submit his name and documents officially come August in a bid to clinch the seat. Abdiaziz Ashim for Prime Edition.